It's Patrick LaGreed from Half Wheel, and this is a Zippo lighter. Well, sort of. It's a Zippo lighter body, but inside is the actual product I'm looking at today, the Thunderbird FT Flat Flame Insert. Now, the Thunderbird brand comes from Vector KGM. You can see their logo on the back there. And this is the newest of eight inserts that the company makes for your Zippo lighter, having been released in March of 2021. There are also single and double flame torch inserts, which are these two models right there. The company also makes a soft flame and torch combo and several soft flame options. Now, the idea is that there are so many Zippo lighters out there, and many of them have designs that really resonate with their owners. But one of the first lessons you'll learn about lighting a cigar is that you should never, ever use a standard Zippo as it uses a petroleum-based fuel, which can adversely affect the flavor of your cigar. But the fix is fairly straightforward. Just remove the stock insert and replace it with one that uses butane like this. Now to do that, all you have to do is slide out the original insert, which is not this obviously, and then replace it with whatever one you have that uses butane. The only real trick to it is that you wanna make sure this little lever is flipped down. That allows it to engage with the lid so that it will close nice and easy. And just like that, you have a cigar friendly torch lighter in a Zippo body. Now this insert is one of several on the market from a number of companies including Jetline, Lotus, who sells theirs under the Z Plus name, and Zippo itself. This particular version sells for $20 as compared to $16.95 for the single flame from Vector and Thunderbird and $19.95 for the dual flame version. Now, if you've been following the lighter trends of recent years, you're familiar with the flat flame option, which takes a single torch and spreads out the flame to a wider format, which allows you to effectively paint a cigar with the flame while still maintaining some accuracy with the point that is created. It's a style that I've really come to like as an option as it handles a wide range of cigars fairly nicely. So let's turn down the lights and show you that flame in action. Now, it's not the biggest flame, so I'm going to give you a little bit more of a view here. But as you can see, it does fan out there and gives you a nice, fairly wide base at the bottom and then comes up to a point at the top. So this gives you both some width to deal with bigger cigars, as well as a fine point at the top, so you can do a little bit more of a precise touch-up. As far as ignition, very easy. Just push, fires without fail. As long as there's butane in the tank, you are good to go. So that is what the flame on the Thunderbird FT flat flame insert looks like. Let's turn those lights back up. As for the specifics on the Thunderbird FT flat flame, it is a refillable insert that uses the same standard butane that you'd use on your other lighters. The valve is right there on the base, and there is a flame adjustment wheel, or actually a little screw uh, to the right of it. And as you can see, there's a little arrow that indicates just where you are on the range. All the way to the left is as open as it will go. All the way to the right is as closed and small as the flame will go. And that is isn't just a nice little visual guide for you as well. Now, it is... A bit on the small side so you will need a small flathead screwdriver or similar tool to adjust it but the nice thing about this is generally once you set it you won't need to adjust it again now in terms of the pros of this lighter if you have a zippo that you love but you want to make it a cigar lighter this will do the trick and for only about 20 bucks the clear fuel tank is an advantage it has over some of its competitors and while the body styles are very similar the ignition with its four ridges right there makes it feel fairly comfortable. Now, given the size, it's not really suited to big hands, even when it's in its shell there. But I'd say the same thing about its competitors. So this is more about wanting a Zippo lighter that you can use to light a cigar with. As for the cons, the most notable revolve around if you don't have a Zippo, Zippo lighter already. Those start at about 20 bucks or so and go up from there. So when you get a Zippo lighter and you get this, you're looking at about 40 bucks. And at that point, you're looking at some fairly good lighters that are already on the market, that are already geared at cigars, that are anywhere in that 9 to 15 or $20 range that have bigger fuel tanks and may come with a punch cutter or any number of other add-ons. And like I said, there's a lot of great lighters, so there's really no need to overthink that decision unless you just have a Zippo or really want to use a Zippo to light your cigars. Beyond that, the fuel tank is on the small side, and I'll show you that one more time. So you will be refilling this more than you think because this is enough to get you maybe through a night, but more than five or six cigars and you are definitely going to need a refill. So that's the Thunderbird FT flat flame insert. 
Again, made by Vector under their Thunderbird brand. Thank you so much for checking out this video, and be sure to check out halfwheel.com for all your cigar industry news, reviews, and much, much more.